had to unmute there. All right, well, welcome. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dinah Sabeljo Kennard. I'm one of the directors in the admission office at St. Edwards University. Welcome to our webinar today, where we'll be talking about the art, graphic design, and photography and media arts programs at St. Edwards. We're really excited to have Professor Hollis Hammonds, who's chair of the Visual Studies Department at St. Edwards, Professor of Art, as well as uh, Professor Jimmy Liu, who's Associate Professor of Graphic Design, here to speak with you today. Um, I'm going to turn it to, over to them in a second, but first I want to just go over a few logistics related to Zoom. Um, I know we're spending a lot of time uh, in the virtual space these days, and you all are probably pretty familiar with Zoom. Um, but just so you know, we'll be, uh, Hollis and Jimmy will be speaking to you for about 20 to 30 minutes to talk about the programs. There will be time for questions. So as we go along, you can enter your questions in the Q&A tool, which you'll find at the bottom of your Zoom ribbon. You can put those questions in there as they come up. We'll address them um, as we get to the end of the presentation, unless it's something super relevant and we can address it during the presentation. But please do enter your questions there. We will not be using the chat feature today. So Q&A is how you can communicate with us. We do have a few polls to get started just to understand our audience a little bit better. So if you will, I'm going to go ahead and launch our first poll and please use your um, keyboard to respond. We'd like to know of the audience that's attending. I know we have a number of students who've already committed to coming to St. Edwards in the fall and others who are thinking about joining us at St. Edwards in the future. So we wanna get a sense of where um, you guys are in terms of interest in programs and majors. Excellent. So it looks like we have a pretty um, even split between art and graphic design, maybe slightly uh, leaning to the graphic design program. I know we also have some students who might be interested in photography too, so excellent. I'm going to go ahead and we have another poll for you. So as you think about kind of what information is most helpful to you as you think about selecting a major, please do choose any of these um, responses that apply. So getting to know more about the facilities, um, know more about the professors that you'll be engaged with at St. Edwards, what kind of jobs um, come from these different programs, et cetera, et cetera. Go ahead, I'll give you a few seconds to respond. Excellent. So it seems like the majority is interested in understanding the degree programs and the kinds of classes that you'll be taking in those programs, as well as understanding more about the facilities and um, job outcomes. So excellent. Thank you, everyone, for that or those responses. And then um, another poll. We'd like to learn a little bit more about how you became interested in either art, graphic design, or photography, or perhaps all of them. So go ahead and um, make your selection. Where did that kind of interest in these programs, where did that begin? Where did that start for you? Excellent. I love it. It looks like for most of you, it's something that's been just part of the core of your being and intrinsic to who you are, that you've always been interested in that subject. So that's really exciting to hear. And then the last poll that I have for you is tell us a little bit more about what you care about most when you're choosing a major. So the courses, the professors, um, the ability to be employed after you graduate. Go ahead and mark your answers. There's no wrong answer for these quizzes. <laughs> Excellent. So it sounds like for most of you, um, you are interested in knowing more about how these majors might fit with your interests, your needs, um, the curriculum, and also employment outcomes. So fantastic. 
All right, so those are the polls that we have for you today. Um, again, my name is Dinah Sabel Joe Kennard. I'm the Director of Admission Partnerships and Programs at St. Edwards University. I'll be online the whole time as well so that if you have general questions about admission, I can answer those for you. Um, but I want to go ahead and turn it over to Professor Hollis Hammonds, Chair of the Visual Studies Department, Professor of Art. And um, Hollis, go ahead and take it away. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming this afternoon. I'm very excited to speak with you. Um, it's always funny to be online and not be able to see the faces of those we're talking to, but I do uh, appreciate you participating in our polls and for showing up today. And um, I'm hoping to get some good questions that we can answer at the end of our presentation. So um, I wanted to start by giving you a bit of an overview. Um, what we're gonna do today is I'll give you a little more uh, info about myself, and then I'll also uh, let my colleague, Jimmy Liu, who is area coordinator and associate professor of graphic design, talk a little more about himself and his interests. And then we're gonna uh, talk a little bit about the other faculty. Um, we will delve into what the Visual de uh, Studies Department offers. So we'll kind of give you a rundown of all of our programs. And then we'll break it down even further. So we'll talk more in depth about the art program, the graphic design major, and the photography and media arts program. Um, after that, we'll talk about um, resources um, and facilities, and then we'll finally wrap it up with Q&A. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about myself. Again, I'm the chair of the Department of Visual Studies. Um, I'm an artist, a working artist. Um, one of the important things that we feel about our faculty is that they're all active in the profession, and we think that's very important for mentoring students. Um, you can see here images of myself working in various, uh, the one in the center is at a, a studio residency. Um, during my sabbatical. Um, you can see images of my work. I've been working on a, a graphic novel memoir style kind of lifelong project um, that may never be finished. Uh, <laughs> um, my emphasis is in drawing, um, but I also, you can see that I work sculpturally as well. Um, I teach classes including sequential art, which is the art of comics as well as um, painting and drawing all levels. And I also teach um, some freshman classes all the way up to senior level studio classes. Jimmy? Hi, everyone. Um, great to be here with you today. Uh, like Hollis said, um, my name is Jimmy Liu. I'm the area coordinator and an associate professor of graphic design. Um, and I'm a practicing graphic designer, um, and I agree with Hollis that I think it's really important to know that all of the faculty in our department at St. Edwards are practicing their discipline and quite rigorous about it. Um, in my graphic design practice, I'm pretty interdisciplinary, so meaning that I work within the field of graphic design, but I also work outside of it. And my area of interest and specialty is typography. And so you'll see on the slide here some examples of my recent work. And I look at typography at all different kinds of scales. So in a traditional scale, you might see type in a booklet or in a poster. Um, but I also investigate typography at really large scales. So the two black and white pictures are um, of a large scale sculpture installation that you kind of have to look at the words from outer space in order to be able to see them. And um, yeah, so I look at graphic design in a real broad way and that kind of appears in how we approach graphic design in our program as well. Great, so we wanted to show you the rest of the active faculty in these um, areas of study. We actually do have more faculty in the area of animation and game design, um, but they're not featured here today. Um, we also have many part-time faculty who are 
artists, designers, and creatives working in the Austin community that we're very um, lucky to have on our faculty teaching special topics and the other courses. Um, so I just want to go through very quickly. Um, the first professor you see is Mary, Dr. Mary Brantel. She's an associate professor of art history. And so she um, is a professor that all students would have when they take art history too which is a primer for um, other courses within your degree plans. Alex Robinson um, is a professor, associate professor of art. And um, I'll talk more about each of them in a minute. Tammy Rubin is an associate professor of ceramics and sculpture. Um, Tuan Fan and Kim Garza are our graphic design faculty, both one is an assistant professor and one's an associate professor and they teach many um, really great classes. And we have Joseph Fatone, who's a professor of photography, as well as Sybil Miller. She's our area coordinator of photography and media arts, as well as a professor of photography. So we thought, um, again, reiterating that it's important for um, our faculty to be actively artists, designers, professionals in the discipline. So we just wanted to show you a few examples of their own creative work. So Tammy Rubin um, is again our 3D um, sculptor and she's an artist who's um, have, having a great career, uh, has had so many exhibitions and her work is really interesting dealing with social and cultural mapping. Um, she also teaches all of the hand building clay courses. She teaches wheel throwing, sculpture materials, and um, also professional practices. So that's really great. Alex Robinson, who's our other full-time um, art faculty, is a multimedia artist. She does drawing, painting, sculpture, video. Um, so she's really a great professor to have at the foundation level. She teaches um, foundation art and design, which is very multidisciplinary, as well as classes such as Art as Inquiry and Senior Studio One. Um, I'll have the privilege of talking about my colleagues in graphic design, Professor Tuan Fan and Professor Kim Garza. Um, Tuan is a graphic designer whose work really explores politics um, and social design and the role that graphics play in communicating in those realms. Um, he is a really great mentor um, and he typically teaches courses at the, um, the freshman level. Um, so all of our intro courses, you'll get to meet Tuan. And he also teaches a course called Social Design, which has become a really um, important component of the identity of our program. Um, we kind of ask our students to think about what their role as graphic designers is or can be in society. Um, and Professor Kim Garza is an interaction designer who has worked with many environmentally conscious companies and projects. And her work ranges in all forms of digital media. And the, the image that you see here is an experimental film that she's been working on for quite some time. And you'll see her in all of our digital interaction type courses. And um, I wanted to show you some work from our photography and media arts faculty as well, Joseph Vitone who's a professor of photography, is also a documentary photographer who has traveled all over the world and has had his work collected in major museums, which is really exciting. Um, he's taught study abroad courses such, uh, at such locations as China, France, Japan, and Thailand. Um, so those trips are really beneficial, not even just for photo majors, but a lot of other visual studies majors take those study abroad classes. Um, he teaches mostly classes in documentary photography, studio and location projects, and digital photo courses. Um, Sybil Middler, who is also a professor of photography, 
is an artist who mostly works in um, still photography and video. And she's been, had her work featured in a lot of um, film festivals, which is super interesting. She teaches mostly the foundation levels, um, photography one and two, and, um, but also teaches digital color, alternative processes, and classes such as Senior Studio 2, where you do your final thesis project. Okay, so we want to go on and talk a little bit about um, our department because although you will be choosing a major, we really see this department as interdisciplinary and we feel that um, we really want to create community and so um, when we think of the majors, we think of them as like important components of the Department of Visual Studies. Um, these are a list of our programs. So you can see here that we have majors in art, animation, graphic design, photography and media arts, and video game development. We also have minors in all of those programs, as well as art history and visual studies. Um, one thing that's really unique about the visual studies program and, the, and actually our degree programs at St. Edwards is that um, here you get a Bachelor of Arts degree as opposed to some of you may have heard of a degree called a BFA, like a Bachelor of Fine Arts. Um, the difference is that a Bachelor of Fine Arts has more hours in your specific major um, that's more focused, but here you can get one degree plus a minor or you could get two degrees for almost the same number of credits that you could for a BFA degree. So it really gives you more skills. So that's something we're very proud of and really excited about. Um, and you'll see in some of our alumni examples, students that have had you know, a major in one area and a minor in another um, and have done really well. We also wanted to point out our diverse faculty, which is something we really value because we want to um, reflect the diversity of our student body as well. And the liberal arts context is really important. I don't know how much um, you know about the liberal arts, but we truly believe in this sort of broad, um, open framework um, that crosses disciplines, that also crosses outside of our area of study. So we're very interested in the social um, justice mission of the university and how that could relate back to our degree programs. So um, I'm gonna keep going and talk a little bit about the art program. Um, we offer an art major, an art minor. We also offer a teacher education minor. So if any students are interested in art education or teaching in the public schools, we have that option. Um, and we also have the art history minor. So a lot of our students want to go to graduate school, for instance, after they finish their undergrad degree. And many of them will choose an art history minor on top of their studio art major as a way to prep for um, a graduate program. So here you can see, you know, I talked a little bit um, about how we um, believe in interdisciplinary programs. And one thing that we've done as a department is create a core, um, course structure. So we have classes that all of the majors, art, photo, and design, take together. And so again, we want to build community, we want to have that interdisciplinary feel to the program. So that's what you can see on the top line here, Visual Studies 1, Foundation Art and Design. Those are classes all students take. Um, Professional practices is a class that we've added recently because we really want to help all of our students um, on their career path, like after graduation. And then Senior Studio 1 and 2 is the thing that we call culminating experience. And so that's where you will create your senior project, you will do research, you will um, create unique work, and you'll continue that through the whole year up until your senior exhibition or other dissemination forms. So I think we can go on, Jimmy. Um, I wanted to give some examples of alumni outcomes because I do think it's important to think about, especially in creative disciplines, what are we gonna do with these degrees when we graduate, right? 
Um, and so I've, we've put, pulled in um, two alumni examples from each area. Um, the first one is Jen Hassan. She's an art alumni. She graduated in 2012 and she's had extreme success in her career. Um, her senior exhibition, like senior thesis project, has actually been displayed at the Pentagon um, as part of the Smithsonian uh, curated exhibition. Um, she's a veteran, so she has unique perspective. Um, but she's taken her, what she's learned as an artist, um, taken what she learned in the military and has created a really interesting career for herself. Um, and she's also currently a, a graduate student at the very prestigious art program at Columbia University in New York City. We can go to the next. And here's another example of an alumni, Mia Karameros. Um, Mia graduated in 2003 or 2013, sorry. Um, she's currently represented by Wally Workman Gallery, which is a commercial gallery that sells her work. Um, as well, she started a business with another alumni called Maris Walker. And she's the director of um, business, uh, new business, basically. She basically brings in new clients for uh, a design brand consultancy business. So that's super exciting. Um, I can tell you a little bit about the graphic design program. We offer a graphic design major, again, a BA, and a graphic design minor, which is real popular for students who are majoring in the other majors in visual studies. And I wanted to kind of um, build upon what Hollis was saying earlier about the difference between a BA and a BFA. Um, I think it's a really exciting time to be a designer right now um, because design touches so many different aspects of our lives from everything you see on your phone to things you read out in the city to events and um, things that you buy in the grocery store are all part of the vocabulary of design. And our program, because it is housed within a liberal arts context, I think creates the most ideal context for studying design today. Because as a designer, you're never working for yourself. You're always working to make something for somebody else. So if you're working as a designer today, you might have a client who is in the medical field one, one month and a client who works in food the next month. And so it's really important today for graphic designers to have a really broad knowledge base. And I think that at St. Edwards, we really take advantage of that context um, for our students who study graphic design with us. And a little bit of overview of what our program really tries to achieve is we do not have a set mold that every student who studies graphic design at St. Edwards fits into. What we really try to do is allow each one of our students to form their own path and to think about how they want to practice graphic design today because there are so many ways in which you can be a graphic designer. And I'm gonna show you two maybe opposite ends of the spectrum today with our alumni. And so that's what our program in graphic design really is set up to do. Um, you begin by learning some um, foundational and disciplinary skills, and then we kind of lead you towards defining your own voice as a graphic designer. And the two alumni that I'll talk about um, really exemplify that spirit. Um, the first alum is named Edith Valle, and she graduated from St. Edwards in 2016. And she really, in her time with us, developed her voice as someone, as a graphic designer who cares about politics and um, empowering women and Latinx um, people. Um, and so when Edith graduated, she knew that she wanted to find a career where she could combine two, two of her major interests, graphic design and empowerment. And so Edith worked her way through 
um, the local Austin community and now works in-house as an art director for a, an organization called Deeds Not Words that is um, uh, an organization started by Wendy Davis um, who, that seeks to empower women um, to have a voice in politics and shaping our political environment. And so what Edith does in her job every day is she uses graphic design um, to communicate about how, um, and in the examples that you see here, how to empower women of color um, to have a voice in shaping the political landscape in Texas. And our second alum is named Brandy Shigamoto. And Brandy works, has um, had a great career. She graduated in 2015, so a year before Edith. And Brandy has worked in Austin in some of the top digital design agencies. Um, and so the work that you see here is quite varied. So she's done work for USA Olympics, judo, um, and you'll see that she has also done work for um, the state of California's health system. So she was involved in redesigning how Californians um, buy their health care, which is kind of a really complex undertaking. And outside of her work, she's really involved in shaping the Austin design community. She is the chair of um, a organization called AIGA um, that helps, um, one of the programs she started was to start a conference aimed at young and emerging designers called GROW. Um, yes, so now I'm gonna pass it back to Hollis for some photo uh, program. Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> um, I love talking about alumni. This is just as exciting for me to hear about them um, as talking about other students and alumni. So um, I'm gonna keep going um, and give you a little overview of the photography and media arts degree program. So you can see here examples of classes that you would take. Um, so when, you, when we're looking at these charts, uh, I didn't really explain clearly, but you can see how this first column is um, represents uh, like your first year. Um, second year, third year, and fourth year. Um, and again, uh, students in photography, they take Visual Studies 1, which all of our students take, but they also take photography, analog photography 1 and 2, and also intermediate digital imaging in the first year. So the great thing about this degree plan is that they are immediately immersed in the photo discipline, um, more so maybe than the other areas, although we think that our interdisciplinary courses <laughs> really are touching all of those different um, types of majors. So um, I think that, um, you <laughs> sorry, yeah, we can go to Lene. So Lene is one of our photography alumni, um, Lene Bowman Cravens. Um, she's a graduate from 2009. She's really an interdisciplinary artist who uses multiple materials. You can see here that she's printing photographs on paper, folding them, cutting them, making complex structures. Um, this is something you often see in like packaging design and thinking about sculpture. Um, so she's really crossing over a lot of different disciplines in her work. She went on to get her MFA. So um, she's another example of a student that, you know, got her undergraduate degree in photography at St. Ed's and then went on to get a Master of Fine Arts in Photography at the University of North Texas. She um, describes her work as poetic and um, autobiographical. So most of the work she does is like photographing herself and then translating those into these complex forms. And current she, uh, currently she works or has worked at Texas Christian University and she's taught classes at other universities in Texas as well. Um, we also have Ryan Slack. He is a graduate from 2008 of the photography program. 
he actually works, um, lives and works in Brooklyn and New York City. Um, his work focuses primarily on commercial um, portraiture, fashion, um, editorial work. Um, he's also had clients ranging from Vogue Italy to Glitter Mag Japan, um, Bonobos, Barneys, Reebok, um, to name a few. The one thing that this program does really well is prepare students for professional commercial work. All of our students are technically proficient. We have amazing facilities. Um, our faculty have so much experience. And so uh, we have a lot of actually a <laughs> couple famous alumni <laughs> that I have to mention. One in particular is, I don't know if anyone has heard of Brandon Maxwell, who is currently a judge on Project Runway. He's actually one of our photography alumni from St. Edwards. So it's kind of a funny, unique <laughs> fact about our program. Okay, let's keep going. So um, we wanted to talk, uh, you know, besides curriculum, there's a lot of other stuff that we offer that we think is important for student success. Um, also in community building, we love professional um, experiences for students. So one example is our fine arts gallery that we um, run year round. Um, in the fall, we often have visiting artists. Um, we sometimes have alumni exhibitions. Um, and in the spring, we mostly have student exhibitions. So you can see here a variety of types of programming that we've done. Um, on the left, you can see a project called Urgent Messages, which actually um, Jimmy and um, alum the alumni that you saw from graphic design, as well as other graphic design faculty participated in. And basically they moved the risograph into the gallery and created a workshop approach with an exhibition. Um, in the center top, you see Jeff Schmookey, who was a visiting artist who actually does horticulture and um, he made this hydroponics um, plant structure in the gallery and then again did workshops with students um, and some special lectures. Um, and the, the image below that is an example of our student juried exhibition. So you can see um, wallpaper designs that students have created, paintings, sculpture, um, it's hard to tell that this project right in the front um, on the bottom is a, a sculpture that a freshman student made in our very first freshman level class that you take. So um, anyone can, can actually get work into the student juried show, but it's also something that you could put on your resume since it's always juried by a professional. Um, and then on the far left, or far right, sorry, you'll see examples of other uh, visiting artist projects and um, students working in the gallery. Um, and we just have a really vibrant community when it comes to the fine arts gallery. So here you can see some examples of our facilities. We do um, pride ourselves on having um, the technology needed to serve our areas. So that's very important, especially in graphic design and photography and media arts. Um, we also have all the equipment that you would need um, for painting, drawing, printmaking, um, ceramics, um, for sculpture. Um, our department is feels small. Um, we actually offer 70 classes a semester, which sounds like a lot, but when it comes to our student cohort, uh, we still try to keep small classes where you have direct contact with the faculty and you can create um, community between your major group. So we think it's really important that you have, um, that you build connections with the other students in your program, um, as well as still like through those interdisciplinary classes, you're still having contact with students from other degrees within visual studies. 
So I want to end our presentation today by talking a little bit more about how vibrant I think our um, department is. Um, I think it's real special. I've taught at other schools before and I, I really am proud of the way that our faculty and students are highly collaborative and it really feels like a, you know, a small microcosm of the world here. And so I want to highlight today some of the things that um, our students have the opportunity to participate in. Um, in addition to all the things that you might expect from uh, school, like having student organizations um, and parties, uh, we also have faculty who care a lot about the student experience and who put in extra effort to do things like field trips or give our students opportunities to engage in the community. And I'll highlight some of the images here that you see. Um, every spring, St. Edwards hosts a design conference that's geared towards young designers called GROW that our alumni and myself started for the Austin community. Um, and then below that image on the left, you'll see that we took recently a field trip to New York City to attend a book fair. Um, an art book fair that was real exciting for our students, some of whom have never been to New York City before. And I think it's a great cultural experience. Um, and uh, we've also taken our students to various book fairs and zine fests around the state. So above you'll see the Houston trip. Um, and then at the very bottom of the right hand corner, you'll see students working on a project called the Butterfly Project, which one of uh, two of our faculty, Bill Kennedy and Alexandra Robinson, uh, it was a collaboration with our students and the Bob Bullock Texas State Museum, State History Museum where the students had an opportunity to design, propose, and install um, a giant um, installation in their lobby. Um, and that was the class that our students had the opportunity to take. And so I think that's one of the things that I'm really the most proud of, of our faculty and our students is that we're highly engaged um, with the, the creative community in Austin and, um, I think that our students really see the benefit of that. Um, and now uh, I'll open the floor to some Q and A um, and turn the um, turn it over uh, back to Dina. Thank you, Hollis and Jimmy. That was just a tremendous presentation and such um, great information. I know we have a lot of questions from our participants today. So um, let's go ahead and get started with the first question. And students do please feel free to add your questions to the Q&A tool as we go along. We have um, as much time as you need to make sure that you leave this webinar feeling like you have a full and complete sense of the opportunities at St. Edwards and Visual Studies. So Hollis, Morgan is asking about the different types of internships that art majors, have, art majors have participated in in the past. Can you talk a little bit about some of the experiential opportunities and internship opportunities um, through the art program? Yeah, definitely. Um, our art majors um, have a couple of options. So many times they like to work in galleries or museums nonprofit organizations. So we've had many students year after year work at a gallery called Women in Their Work, for instance. And um, it's a very famous gallery that has served um, women for many decades and um, has really innovative programming. Uh, we've also had students that have worked for um, Mexicarte, which is the Mexican American um, Museum downtown. Um, we've also had students that started as interns at um, the Contemporary Austin, which is our major contemporary art museum in Austin, as well as turning those internships into jobs. So a lot of them have actually worked the front desk and worked as docents um, in the museum. Um, we've also had students who do a lot of internships with individual artists. So 
So I think that this is one of the cool things about our program is uh, Tammy Rubin, who's our sculptor um, faculty, who's also has an amazing career um, and has connections to all the artists in Austin. Um, she's done an amazing job of getting students in with well-known artists, um, also emerging artists into their studio and working with them on real world projects. So for instance, we've had several interns work for Deborah Roberts. And if you haven't heard of her and you're interested in art, definitely look her up. Um, she's an African-American artist who's blowing up <laughs> right now in her career. She's in every major museum um, and she lives right here in Austin. Um, so that's a great uh, example of the type of internship you could have as an art major. Thank you for that, Hollis. Jimmy, do you want to talk a little bit about the internship opportunities um, for students studying graphic design? Sure, I would love to. Um, so I think Austin is uh, one of the most exciting places right now to be a creative, whether that's in design or in art or anything else. Um, we're kind of a hot spot where a lot of people want to come because our city is so vibrant in the creative community. Um, and something that I'm really proud of with our graphic design program is the faculty and the alumni are really well connected uh, to the design community in Austin. Um, I sit on the board of AIGA, uh, which is the Professional Organization for Design. And in that capacity, I get to know and make connections with a lot of young designers and established designers. And we do a lot of programming for the design community in Austin. And so our alumni network allows our students to um, get to know each other and get their foot in the door. Um, I'll highlight some recent um, opportunities. Uh, so in Austin, there are, a, you know, we are a tech city. Um, and so a lot of our students um, end up getting internships in digital design agencies, ad agencies, at um, in-house design agencies and boutique agencies because um, we have alumni who work in all of those capacities. And our students have, you know, comment to us time and again about how important that is has, or has been for them in just knowing where to go and to be able to ask uh, students that they might have seen in the hallway or in a classroom about like, what is it like working there? Um, and Austin is home to a lot of digital agencies right now. Um, a, a huge one um, is called Fjord. And also um, there are a lot of in-house um, companies that have created design agencies um, within their uh, company like HEB, um, just opened a huge design office here in Austin. IBM uh, is housed here, Apple is housed here. Um, and so there are a lot of opportunities in that regard. And recently, um, St. Edwards had a partnership uh, with Fjord, uh, which is a multinational um, design, digital design agency. We created a partnership with them for a mentorship program. And so about a dozen of our graphic design students at St. Edwards got matched, um, personally matched with um, working designers for a six week mentorship program where they had the opportunity to go and visit the studio, to um, shadow someone who's doing the kind of work that they're interested in. And a lot of those relationships that were established during that mentorship program um, continued on and um, perhaps helped some students get some jobs out of it. Very cool. Other questions from our participants today? I know a number of you are planning to join us on the Hilltop in a few months and we'll be taking classes with um, these wonderful faculty members as well as the colleagues that they mentioned. What questions do you have? What things do you wanna know? Um, please do drop them in the Q&A. 
While we're waiting for questions, I also want to brag about my colleagues a little bit. I mean, I think Hollis was being real humble when she was talking about how awesome and well-connected the art faculty are in Austin. Um, like, you know, within the art community here, like everyone knows who they are. And I think that that is such an advantage of um, attending our program is you want faculty who are engaged in the discipline that you're studying. And I think that that is really rare that, you know, every single one of our faculty in art are awesome and like people know who they are. <laughs> and I'm really proud when I go out um, and do something and they're like, oh yeah, you work with Hollis, you work with Tammy, you work with Alec, that's so awesome. Um, and so I, yeah, I just wanted to take a little minute to brag on them because yeah, I, I feel like we never get the opportunity to say how awesome um, we are. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I, I know Hollis, I've worked with Hollis for a number of years. I know many faculty in, in these departments and I can say from an unbiased outside observer, you guys are just awesome and, and really rock it. And it's obvious in the outcomes and the success stories of our alumni um, from visual studies. So kudos to you guys. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Um, Oh, go, ahead, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say that um, I feel like our students are really doing interesting work as well. And um, we really try to create a flexible, um, a flexible curriculum that not only gives you the groundwork, like it's still very technical, like you still learn a lot of skills, but it's really also about conceptual thinking and um, really pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone, but giving you that space that you can really investigate topics that you're interested in and that are important to you. And I think that that is really one of the special things about our programs. I was going to ask if either of you could kind of talk a little bit about, um, and just briefly, because I know we only have about 10 more minutes left. So again, students, if you have questions, please drop them in the Q&A. Now's the time. Um, but Jimmy and Hollis, can you each maybe talk uh, and give a few examples of things that students did um, just very recently for the senior uh, kind of culminating experience? Sure. Um, I actually teach a new class um, that is one of our visual studies core courses called Senior Studio 2. And so this was the very first year that all of these majors, art, photo, and design, um, as a cohort did this course together. So in a way that was exciting. Um, we've been all doing our own individual senior level classes, but we decided that it was really important to get feedback from the different disciplines. And so we've created these team talk courses where the seniors can, um, you know, riff off of each other, get ideas from each other, have, have really dynamic critiques. In their final um, class, they are setting up their exhibition. Um, of course, this year was a little different because of COVID-19. Uh, but I think that's great to talk about because, um, you know, we were able to mount the graphic design exhibition, which was amazing. They did such a great job. They um, did everything from designing their logo and theme of their exhibition to creating wall text and um, like a design theme for the whole gallery. They worked together collaboratively to design the exhibition. I'm just really proud of the work that they did. And, you know, the projects ranged from all kinds of things, like from packaging design to um, video and animation to um, one student created uh, animated characters and then also created sculptures of those characters and then created the packaging for them. I mean, it's just like a really amazing work, including books and apps and other things. Um, the photo students, they also uh, were able to mount their exhibition and again, uh, really beautiful, interesting work. And um, I think they, I, I got a lot of really great feedback from the class, even though it was the first time we've ever done it together. But students really appreciated being able to get the feedback from designers and artists and photographers outside of their area when they were working on their final projects. 
<laughs> yeah, so and I didn't say that, you know, when I go out in our creative community and hear um, professionals talk about, you know, students from St. Edwards that they've hired, they always tell us that they really notice a stark difference between students who come from St. Edwards versus students who come from other colleges and universities in the region. And the, the thing that people always say about St. Edward's students is how they notice that their critical thinking skills and their conceptual skills are always decidedly really different than students who come from other institutions. And I'll say again that that is a result of, I believe, our liberal arts context like the things that our student, the courses that our students are required to take in the general education curriculum really um, allow them to bring their critical thinking skills back into their discipline and to be able to really articulate why their work is the way it is and to also investigate very deeply what it means to be an artist or a designer today. And I think that that's the, the one thing that I will always say marks a St. Edward's student as um, different than uh, other students at other schools. Yeah, I always hear that as well. Uh, even outside of our department, you know, you'll always hear that our student interns have the best reviews. People love having interns mm -hmm. from St. Edward's University. Uh, mostly because they're great at communicating, they know how to solve problems, and they're really pretty good at writing. <laughs> so that's really great. No, absolutely. I think that's a kind of a fabulous point to end on in that that's a real benefit of studying something like art, graphic design, photography, or even biology or chemistry or psychology or business in a liberal arts environment is that you have those kind of core foundational building blocks that are broad and not just kind of focused only in one narrow area so that our scientists know how to write very well, our writers know how to understand dat data and solve problems, um, the artists help us make sense of it all right, in so many different ways. So it, it, it's really kind of that interdisciplinary study which a liberal arts education provides um, which as you both so eloquently mentioned really translates to um, having our students be just exceptionally competitive for employment and graduate school opportunities after they leave the hilltop. So um, much agreed. All right. Well, I, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for coming today. And um, of course, uh, feel free to reach out to either of us if you have any additional questions. Um, and follow us on social media. Um, I just want to Throw oh, yeah. up the, all of our Instagram pages. If you really want to get a real look into what goes on in our department, um, these, this is the best way. I mean, we post regularly and it's a great snapshot into what is really going on. Um, you can kind of see for yourself if the things that we are saying are actually happening or are actually true. Um, so yeah, follow us. <laughs> Can you just, Jimmy, can you just mention kind of what each of those accounts is on Instagram? Sure. Just so you know. Yes. Uh, so at SEU underscore VizU is our departmental Instagram account. Um, and so you'll see posts of student work and all of the things that we do over the course of the semester. At Resograph Lab is um, an Instagram account that it follows the work of our Resograph printer in, uh, in a specialized lab. It's kind of a hot thing in graphic design right now, and we have one. Um, at Command G is the graphic design student group, and at SCU Chroma is the art student group. Fantastic. Well, I know that the students who participated today, um, certainly if they could turn their mics on, would join me in saying thank you to both of you, um, Professor Hammonds and Professor Liu. Thank you for your time today and this wonderful information. Students, thank you for spending this hour with us. Um, please do not hesitate to reach out to us and the admission office if we can help connect you with faculty members, um, our presenters today or other colleagues or if you have just general questions about the admission process or other things about St. Edwards that you want to know, you see our email address on the screen there. Um, I wish you all the best as you begin your summer adventures. I know that this summer may not look like past summers, 
but hopefully um, we can all find some ways to um, use this time to um, find new opportunities to take care of ourselves, take care of others, to learn, to grow, to make wonderful art in the world. Um, thank you so much and thank you for the sweet comment. I'm glad this is a beneficial to you guys. Take care. Congratulations to those seniors who are graduating today and throughout this weekend. <laughs> Bye. Bye everyone. <laughs>